So today I'm talking about a P0073 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0073 code? Well, it's an ambient air temperature sensor circuit high input. And what does this mean? Well, there's a temperature sensor that's usually located up inside of the front grill, and it's basically just reporting back to the computer what the outside temperature is. And this sensor is what's called a thermistor, which basically is just a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. And one thing about this sensor is it needs to be shielded from direct sunlight or strong winds or anything like that. So be sure to keep that in mind, especially if it got loose or anything like that. It needs to be kind of shielded, and it's usually gonna be located up inside the front grill. Quite often you have to take apart the top of the grill to get to it. Sometimes you can get up underneath and get to it. It's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the vehicle, but it'll be up inside of there somewhere. And so what are some possible causes of a P0073 code? Well, it could be a bad ambient air temperature sensor. That sensor might have just fell, that just need to be replaced. It can also be inside the wiring. There could be an open or a short or something like that. You have to get the wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know which pins it would be on on the computer. But basically, if there's an open or a short inside of the, one of those wires going back to the computer, then it's going to cause an issue. And many people, when they get this code, they just automatically swap out that ambient air temperature sensor. And then if that doesn't work, they start checking the wiring. But you can't test that sensor if you want to. To test that sensor, basically you use a multimeter and you test it for resistance. Each sensor is going to have its own resistance specifications, which you can look up and try to get and then match to see if it's correct. But if you can't get the resistance specifications, basically test it for resistance and it shouldn't be open. It should be reading something. If it's not and it's open, then you know it's bad. You can also try to add heat to it with like a hot hair dryer or something like that and just see if the resistance changes. And quite often if the resistance does change, then it means that sensor is good. But like I said, to know for sure, you would need to get the specifications for it. But you can't test that ambient air temperature sensor if you want to. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0073 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.